channels. So this new project will be building a Hackintosh inside the Mac Mini case. So I got an old i5-6500 at home in a normal PC case and what I want to do is take that processor out there, buy the appropriate hardware, design the inner case with a, a 3D software, 3D print that and then to put all of the hardware inside here and then have a Hackintosh inside the Mac Mini case. So we start off with the i5-6500 as our CPU. So for that CPU, we need a motherboard. And in this case, this is a special motherboard because it's a thin mini ITX motherboard, meaning it's not just the small mini ITX form factor, but it's also very thin. Especially the, the ports here are not stacked very high. Also, we're using laptop DDR4 sodium memory, which is also very thin. So we don't have to worry as much about the case height. But it might still be a struggle, especially considering that we also need to fit a CPU fan in there. And this CPU fan is already a thin one, so it's 2.3 centimeters in height but the entire case is just 2.5 centimeters in height internally. Um, I think it could still work out because we have this huge hole on the bottom and so we can design a bottom cover that kind of protrudes far enough so that we can actually fit this fan inside there. But let's see how that part goes. Um, for our memory, I will be picking 16 gigabytes of DDR4 so the memory, so that's the kind of memory that you will be having inside your um, laptop or notebook. Then for the SSD, I don't think we can put in a normal SATA SSD, that probably would be too little space, although if we still have enough space, our motherboard would have two SATA headers, so that's something to bear in mind for later. Um, for now, I'm just picking an M.2 SSD with 120 gigs or maybe 240 gigs. Um, then for our thumb drive, we also need that to install macOS or maybe Windows or Linux. Let's see how that part goes. I'm just not sure whether the ones that I have at home do have enough memory for these quite big installers of new operating systems. Okay. So now on to the power brick. As you might have guessed, there probably will not be enough space for a normal power supply within the case. So the motherboard just has a better plug and we can use an external power supply for it. Then on to like some gimmicks. Uh, I also want the power LED to work appropriately and I also want that to be a white one, just like the original Mac. So I'm ordering uh, some white LEDs and then we also need a power switch and also some cables for our LED so that's also what I'm buying. In the next video I will see how these parts fit inside the Mac Mini case. Um, I will take some measurements, I will see how I need to design the inner cage for the motherboard, for this motherboard to fit inside my Mac Mini. The Mac Mini is non-standard inside so there are these kind of holes inside the motherboard to like secure it to the case but the Mac Mini doesn't have any of these mounting holes so we need to design an inner cage for that. Then I will definitely need to iterate on that, maybe actually 3D print it. Um, also we need to look into these parts back here like the ports to make them accessible and then we will probably need to iterate a few times and then once we're done and I know this is possible, I've seen it online, either Chinese sellers sell you like these kind of cages or also on other forums there's like paid models that you can buy for these kind of cages but for my project the aim will be to do all of that then release it for free online, kind of this open source idea and then for you to be able to replicate that. So I hope this video was interesting to you. I hope you like this project and that you will be watching the future videos on it. Sales.